Animal Adaptations by Louise and Richard Spilsbury. Ready for anything. Animals are engineered by nature to survive in their environments. They have special features that have developed over time. These are called adaptations. Did you know the fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world? But it has huge ears. Its big ears help it lose body heat. This keeps the fox cool in the hot desert. Some adaptations are shared by many animals. Others are more unusual. Some animals have unique body parts. These help them do amazing things, such as see in the dark. Others have features that make them seem to disappear. Some animals also have surprising ways to avoid predators. Fast fact, a fennec fox's fur keeps it warm during cool nights in the desert. Elephant's trunk. An elephant does not just use its trunk to breathe. It uses this handy body part to find food. When it spots some tasty leaves growing high in a tree, it stretches its long trunk upward. There are two pointed tips at the end of its trunk. These work like fingers. The elephant uses these fingers to pluck a single leaf off the tree. Then it curls its flexible trunk and stuffs the food into its mouth. Fast fact. An elephant's trunk is strong enough to pull a tree out by its roots. Did you know? An elephant can use its trunk like a snorkel. It holds the tip above the water. Then it can breathe while it's underwater. Flying squirrel's extra skin. A flying squirrel does not really fly. It glides. To get from one tree to another, it climbs high and then leaps into the air. It spreads its legs out wide. This makes the loose extra skin between them stretch tight. The extra skin catches the air. This slows the squirrel's fall. The animal uses its tail as a rudder to steer through the air. Plunk, the squirrel lands safely. Its extra skin loosens and it scurries off. Fast fact, gliding between trees helps a flying squirrel avoid predators on the ground. Did you know flying squirrels can glide for 165 feet or more between trees? Thorny devil's spines. The thorny devil lives in the hot, dry desert. There, it is hard to find water to drink, but the thorny devil spines help it get the water it needs to survive. In the morning, this lizard rubs up against plants. Drops of dew from the plants collect on its spiky back. These drops run along tiny grooves between the spines. The spines and grooves carry the water straight into the thirsty lizard's mouth. Did you know? The thorny devil's spines are very sharp. They help protect the lizard from predators. Fast fact. Thorny devils snack on thousands of tiny black ants in a single day. Tarsier's eyes. High in a tree, a tarsier hunts at night. Its giant bulging eyes collect what light there is. It can see well even when the moon is behind clouds. The tarsier watches a cockroach scurrying along a branch. Its round eyes follow the prey until the animal gets close. Then the tarsier leaps forward to grab its snack. While it eats, the tarsier's big eyes scan the forest. They watch for snakes and other predators. Did you know a tarsier has flexible neck bones? They allow it to turn its head 180 degrees in each direction. When sitting in one place, it can spot prey all around. Fast fact, 
Each of a tarsier's eyes is as big and as heavy as its brain. Walrus's tusks. The cold Arctic sea looks flat and calm. Suddenly, a brown head pokes above the water. It is a walrus with huge white tusks. The walrus has been feeding in the icy sea. Now it wants to climb up on the ice to soak up the sun. The walrus lifts its head. It jabs its tusks into the smooth, slippery ice. It then pulls itself up onto the ice. Now it's time for a snooze. Fast fact. A walrus's tusks can grow up to three feet or one meter long. Did you know the walrus also uses its tusks to drag its body across the ice? It uses them to fight other walruses too. Leafy sea dragons camouflage. In a patch of drifting seaweed, not all is what it seems. One piece of seaweed is actually a leafy sea dragon. This animal gets its name from the leaf-like parts that grow on its body. The delicate leaves look like pieces of wavy seaweed. This camouflage tricks predators. They cannot spot the sea dragon hidden among the seaweed. The sea dragon swims slowly. This makes it even less likely to catch the eyes of a hungry predator. Fast fact. Leafy sea dragons are found in warm, salty water along the southern and western coasts of Australia. Did you know leafy sea dragons relatives, weedy sea dragons, are red with yellow spots? Weedy sea dragons live among thicker, darker seaweeds. Flatfish's shape. A flatfish glides along the ocean floor. It stops and buries its flat, thin body in the sand. It uses its fins to throw sand over its body. The flatfish is covered in brown spots. This coloring helps it blend in with the sand. The flatfish's eyes peek out from its hiding place. They spot a small fish swimming by. The fish does not see the camouflaged flatfish. In a flash, the flatfish lunges snatching the prey in its mouth. Did you know baby flatfish have eyes on each side of their body? The eyes shift to one side as they grow. Fast fact, some flatfish can change color. This also helps them blend in with their surroundings. Pufferfish's inflation. A pufferfish swims slowly through the water. Suddenly, it sees a large, hungry fish swimming toward it. It cannot get away in time. The pufferfish quickly sucks in mouthfuls of water. This inflates its stretchy stomach. It gets much bigger. The pufferfish is suddenly the shape of a ball. As the pufferfish blows up, spikes on its body pop out. The hungry fish is surprised and scared by this spiky ball, so it swims away. Fast fact, pufferfish contain deadly poison. Most predators that eat the fish are killed instantly. Did you know pufferfish can grow three times bigger when they are scared? Scorpion's tail. A scorpion chases a small lizard. It grabs the lizard in its huge pinchers, but its prey struggles to escape. The scorpion quickly curls its tail forward and jabs the lizard. There is a sharp, hollow spike at the end of the scorpion's tail. This spike injects venom into the lizard. The powerful venom kills small animals or paralyzes larger ones. The venom keeps the lizard from moving. It's time for the scorpion to eat. Did you know even newborn scorpions have venom? They can be just as dangerous as adults. Fast fact, 
A scorpion's body is covered in hard plates that protect it from most predators. Grasshoppers, legs. Beetles, birds, and mice try to eat grasshoppers, but a grasshopper's extra long back legs help it escape danger. They work like tiny catapults. The grasshopper uses its leg muscles to bend its knees. This tightens parts called cuticles inside the knees. The cuticles squash like springs. They store up energy. When it wants to jump, the grasshopper relaxes its muscles. The cuticles spring open and the grasshopper launches into the air. Fast fact, grasshoppers make sounds by rubbing their back legs against their wings. Did you know a grasshopper can jump 20 times the length of its body? Frilled lizards frill. A frilled lizard walks along the ground. Suddenly, it spots a predator. The lizard stands tall on its back legs. It opens its mouth wide and hisses loudly. Then, whoosh, it opens and raises its huge frill. This large piece of loose skin usually hangs over its shoulders like a cape. The ribbed frill makes the lizard look much bigger. It scares most enemies away. Fast fact, the frilled lizard's frill is 12 inches or 30 centimeters across. Did you know frilled lizards spend most of their time in trees? They can scan the ground for insects and other small animals to eat. Then they run after prey on their two back legs. Engineered to survive. Why do animals have these amazing adaptations? Unique body parts help them move and stay safe. The flying squirrel's extra skin helps it glide from tree to tree. The walrus's huge tusks help it grip slippery ice. Camouflage helps the leafy sea dragon hide from predators. It helps the flatfish catch prey. The pufferfish's ability to blow itself up into a spiky ball scares off enemies. Without these amazing adaptations, these animals would not be able to survive. Fast fact. To defend itself, an armadillo tucks its head and tail in, then rolls into a ball. Did you know? An armadillo has bony plates covering its back, head, legs, and tail. It looks like a suit of armor. The plates protect it from bears, foxes, and other predators.